Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in Hillary's from Old World Homes $5 Goodwill Challenge. Hillary hosts this challenge every quarter and it's one that I've actually enjoyed a lot in the past and I like to participate in it when I can. This time I had planned for something big, but honestly, I just did not have the time, so I will go with something simple, but super cute as well. I will make sure to include Hillary's channel as well as a playlist so you can check out everybody else who decided to join in on the challenge this month. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Yami and I love doing home decor. I love sharing all of my DIYs. I do Dollar Tree DIYs as well. I also like to thrift and just make over items very inexpensively and make them look high end. My signature style is that coastal farmhouse. I am from the Caribbean, so I love everything having to do with the ocean, but I also love a farmhouse style and I have decided to marry them in my home. So I hope you subscribe and stick around and now we can get into my very simple but really cute Goodwill challenge idea for this season. So I went to my local Goodwill and honestly there wasn't that much stuff out that I was particularly interested in but I did find these two little items for 99 cents each. I really like that mini garden urn, but I did not like the color. So I checked in my chalk paint stash and I found this really pretty color that I hadn't used yet. This color is Folk Arts French Linen. I made sure to wipe the urn before painting it. I used a simple artist brush and I made sure to get all of the little crevices and nooks and give it a nice first coat. I made sure each coat was completely dry before applying the next one and I applied a total of three. Next, I took Folk Arts white chalk paint in white Adirondack. I simply dabbed my brush onto the lid and then took off the excess on a plate and then just basically stippled on the white paint all over the urn to give it a more aged look. I made sure to go all around of the little urn with the white. You can see how it's giving it a nice weathered look. I made sure to add a little bit of extra white between the little cracks and crevices as well as around the rings of the bottom of the urn. Finally, I took a little bit of the original color of French linen and added a drop of the antiquing wax by Folk Art and I mixed it up. Then I took my stippling brush and I stippled it all over the urn as well to give it kind of an aged look, but I was very light with it. I'll make sure to have the link for all the products that I use in case you're interested. And this is how the urn turned out and I think it looks pretty darn good. I didn't have to do anything to the basket since it was still in great shape. However, you guys know that I have just redone my guest bathroom and I thought it was a great opportunity to have something for guests if they stay the night, like little hand towels. And I found this cute little pack at Big Lots for $5. Also on my guest bath reveal, I shared that I do like to collect soaps from hotels and shower caps and little kits oh there's a soap anyways so i decided to incorporate some of those in this basket and that was it for that then i took my cute little faux cement urn i think it looks so good and i put it in my guest bathroom i added a cute little topiary ball that I got from at home. I've had this for a little while and I kind of change it up and use it in different places in my house. And then I placed a little basket in front of it. Now I don't always have my bathroom set up this way. I'll keep this put away for the time being, but once we have guests over and they stay the night, I'll just pull it out and make sure they have it ready for whenever they need to use the bathroom. This was a super simple DIY and I actually really love how this little faux cement urn turned out. I think those paints that I used gave it a beautiful faux finish, so I'm so happy with that. 
I hope you enjoyed my little Goodwill Challenge project. I hope to see you guys very soon. Don't forget to check out Hillary's channel as well as everybody who participated in this challenge. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios!